Narcissists steal your dreams and limit your potential. People in narcissistic relationships will often be forced to give up on their dreams. They will lose their capabilities and potential. People waste years of their lives in these relationships. And many people were raised by narcissistic parents. Parents who made you feel like you weren't good enough. Parents who didn't support you. Which then primed you for abuse in relationships. You may have gone into the relationship with a hope or ambition of achieving something and the narcissist love bombed you and future faked, making you believe that they had something to offer. But when these narcissists get around you, all they want to do is take, all they want to do is put you beneath them. They will insult you until you lose confidence in yourself. Until you question your qualities and abilities. Which then prevents you from taking action. It limits your chances of success. It fills you with self-doubt. Until you feel like you shouldn't stand up for yourself. The narcissist will gaslight you to the point where you begin to question your sanity. Where you begin to question if there's something wrong with you. You may spend a lot of time ruminating over everything they said and did to you, wondering how they could possibly do all of those things and feel nothing, wondering how they never felt any care or concern for you. It fills you with confusion. It causes you to experience cognitive dissonance until you begin to talk yourself out of your own dreams and aspirations. You have been invalidated by the narcissist. You feel shame as though you're not good enough. As though you don't even have the right to pursue your dreams. And you fear that if you did succeed, it would only create more problems. Maybe the narcissist would leave you. The narcissistic parents constant insults and put downs made you question your potential. It made you think that maybe you're just not good enough. Maybe you lack the capabilities and potential to succeed. Which then cause you to miss opportunities for success. Because every time you had an opportunity, you heard the narcissistic parent's voice in your head. Telling you you're no good. Telling you you're wasting your time. 
until you began to talk yourself out of it. You didn't follow your dreams. You didn't believe in yourself. You didn't take that career or start that business. Because of everything you were brainwashed to believe about yourself. Those mantras constantly replay in your head of how you're not good enough. You're stupid. You will never be anything great. Which stops you from taking those chances. When you openly talk about your dreams and aspirations around a narcissist, they will mock you. They will publicly humiliate you. They will minimize your achievements. They will laugh at everything you have worked so hard to achieve. You feel like you are fighting a losing battle. You feel like you are wasting your time trying to achieve something when there is no chance that you will succeed. So one day you give up trying. You let go of your dreams and aspirations and you accept the voices that have been endlessly replaying in your head. Even if you do succeed, the narcissists will try to sabotage your success. They are so jealous and insecure that they wouldn't be able to tolerate your success. So they will do whatever it takes to sabotage it. They might even do it openly. Or they might go behind your back and enforce fly monkeys and start a smear campaign. They might withhold something from you. They will do whatever it takes to prevent it. Because their weak, fragile egos cannot tolerate your success. They see it as a threat to their reality and to their exaggerated view of themselves. It is sad when you think about it. To think that there are people like this out there, sabotaging people's success, taking away their dreams and aspirations. Just imagine all of the incredible things the world is never going to see. Because these weak, fragile narcissists couldn't bear to see the success of their relationship partner, family member, friend or co-worker. There is nothing more amazing for me than to see someone who has been kept down their entire lives finally waking up to the reality of their situation and realizing that they are capable of so much more. That's why I do what I do. Because as many of you may know, there have been people who have limited me in my life. And it is very healing for me to give to you something that no one ever gave to me. To remove the weight that the narcissist has tied around your ankle so that you can finally function at your full potential. Everyone deserves the right to be the best selves. It is not only good for us, but it is good for the world. It's never too late to be the person you might have been. The narcissist needed you more than you needed them. And that is why they felt the need to hold you down, to stop you from achieving your full potential. But if they had really loved you, they would have allowed you to take off and be the best person that you could be. They didn't do that because they were jealous and insecure. They felt as though you would be taking the spotlight away from them. So they chose to limit you. 
which was an act of abuse. It's never too late to go back and be the person that you were supposed to be. Remember your dreams and aspirations. Remember everything you wanted to do and start working towards it. When you remove yourself from the domination and control, you can achieve some incredible things. If you can survive everything they did to you, you can do anything. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join our support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.